This is VVVV TV. Uh, we're live again with another episode. Um, did you know that VVV can act as a web server? My name is Jorek, with me, Anton. Anton. In this episode, we are going to show you how we can host a web UI that we built for our application directly from uh, VVV so that we can act, access it from a mobile device and control the app through this thing. Um, let's look at what we have. It is my take on this. Europe will guide me through the process. Okay. So we, in an earlier pro, uh, episode, we showed already this setup. We built this fancy UI for our app. It works, but only locally yep. in the local browser or on, on top of this scene. Now we want to remove the UI from the scene and bring it up on this device. So let's start by removing it. How can we access um, a website from this device that is actually sitting on, on this machine. We need a web server yeah. for that. So what do we have in VVV that allows us to do this? You told me that there is a nugget, nugget for this, right? It's open. Oh, it's there. Hmm. The nugget is called VLIO web server. Assuming you have this installed, you can reference it. So we just type web server. Um, and that there? Yeah, this one. Reference it. Now we have. have web server. Okay. Whoa. Why? We put it here. It says access denied. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a few things that uh, can get in our way. Uh, there is firewalls. There is ports that are used by other applications. Mm -hmm. There are general permissions that would not allow us to access things on certain ports. So um, so the first thing, what should I do? Um, if I get access denied? Yeah, I, don't, I, just, I can't remember now how it, we said we... Like, there are two options, uh, mm -hmm. I would say, for the first hoop to get through. Now, if, if you go open the, the help browser and type web server, you will see a help patch that says access content mm. from outside of localhost. If you briefly open this, it explains that there are two options. You can either mm -hmm. run VVV as administrator, which gives it uh, more rights, or you can uh, go through this uh, way of setting some um, like this net right? as mm -hmm. uh, rules allowing certain port through. Mm -hmm. Now, for the sake of this episode, we decided we rather go the simple route and just start as administrator. So I have to start VVV as administrator. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you save maybe briefly. Yeah. Save, then quit. Yeah. And then I have to right click here, right? And then right click again. Yeah. And then run as administrator. Exactly. Oh, we didn't see this because it was behind the. Uh, well, you know how to start an application as administrator. And then we open, open the thing our... again. Let's see. Okay, it's not pink anymore. It's not pink anymore because now we have the, the mm -hmm. rights mm -hmm. to do this. Um, but still, the web server is currently... Conf well, let, let's, uh, let's point the web server mm -hmm. to our local website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just have to give it a, a content based directory, which is the directory where your HTML site and JavaScript files are placed. And like a normal web server, it will pick up index HTML? By default, no. If you navigate to this uh, page um, in the other tab, no. So here we reference it as a file, but now we want to reference this through the web server, mm -hmm. right? So if but you just type... Is it by the same local host? So yeah. we are still locally. Yeah. So, um, like this, import 
semicolon. Read it, read it. Uh huh, okay. Yeah. Now we are reading this thing not as a file, but served through the web server. From okay. this guy. Now there is a few things about the web server. Currently it's just serving files from disk, but really what it can do can also generate content upon request. On the fly. On the fly. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to rely on files on disk, but you can make things up as a request comes in. This is shown in some uh, how-tos in the help browser. We will not. It's not related to this topic. Not related no. now. No. Now we wouldn't just but load the file from you disk. It's a normal web server where you just get request and you can send back whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that is the most simple use case. We just pointed to a directory and any file that's there can be served. served. Mm -hmm. um, now, in order to make it accessible from the outside, we need to point it to the actual IP of this machine. Of this machine. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we have to know the IP, right? Yeah. How do we find this out? Just check, check IPs. And we have that many. And let's say, let's see. So we have the second one is up. So this is the IP address. Yeah. The one we are looking okay. for. So we just type it here, right? Yeah. The, oops. This? Yeah. We don't need it anymore. Exactly. So now, this, if you reload the page, it would be gone. Because, yeah, it can't access yeah, this can't IP, access but because it's now available by the actual IP of that machine. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So now, what do we want to show next? We want to see if, if, if the tablet can access it. Mm -hmm. Is that the next thing? Yeah. So let's see um, if I reload here. No. It just says no, uh, can't connect. Why? And now the firewall kicks in. On this machine, firewall doesn't allow this tablet to connect to it. Right. Okay. So we briefly need to hack the firewall. We're on Windows 10 here. This might look uh, slightly different on your machine, uh, but advanced. essentially you go to the advanced settings, opens this configuration menu. We want to set an inbound rule because someone comes in yeah exactly mm -hmm. so right click on in on a new rule yeah new rule and this is really straightforward you want to make sure that this port that we are using is mm -hmm. accessible mm -hmm. right so you say this port 8080 mm -hmm. um, should be allow connection yeah. like for now we just yeah say any it. any yeah. Mm, this is v v v v v um, Server. Yes. Okay, so we have our rule now. Yeah. And essentially, uh, it already works. If I may uh, demonstrate, um, why did it turn off brightness again so much? So, this is the website. And it comes from this web server here. Yeah. Now, does interaction work? No. Mm. Why? Uh, because there's a WebSocket in play, and WebSocket is still listening to this local IP. Exactly. So we need to provide these here. Yeah. And also in the JavaScript, because JavaScript from the website sends the. Okay. So let's open it. And the script. So the script still the script connects, connects to this to local host IP. Yeah. So, so also here change. we need to say um, 92, 68, 2181. Okay. Save. The port will leave it like this. Yep. Okay. It's fine. Um, don't forget to reload. It should already uh, work now on on this ah, machine, well, right? Mm -hmm. cool. um, I do a reload here. Uh, does it work here? 
low. Why? Firewall. Again, the firewall. No, so okay, because this another port. The port is closed. Exactly. So we do exactly the same for the WebSocket port. We say new rule. New rule. Port. Four, 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 four. Four, 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 four. Next, next, next. And this is VV. Um, WebSocket. This. So and this is our two firewall rules. I reload again and it now works. It oh. allows me to choose these um, things. And also there is a slider involved that allows me to change the color. Um, it, uh, I would need to set the camera to orbit, no? Probably just did. No? no. So we, but I can change the yeah. things here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So somehow the orbit camera is um, ah, maybe. because it doesn't have the hover now when I uh, something like that. But yeah. It, no. Yeah, because it's mouse. Yeah. So if it's here, it works. Uh -huh. That the orbit. Yeah. Yeah, because the JavaScript listens for the mouse enter event. And on a mobile, you don't have a mouse enter because you have only a touch and click. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a catch. But anyway, here if we you... don't have this issue. You would just, no, we don't have this yeah, double yeah, interaction yeah. issue. It was on, yeah. Exactly, it was only for overlay layout. Yeah. Not the point. Um, it's a JavaScript development yeah. topic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was that probably already it? We showed how we can serve a website. We showed how to configure the uh, firewall. And now we can access this uh, UI from many devices. But on a no local network. Only on the local network, okay. obviously. Mm -hmm. Because someone from the internet would not know this IP. No. Um, was that it? We can show how to, so we get the data in VV from the... Yeah. Um, the UI is controlling the VV app from the browsers. Is there a way on back? The, yeah. So basically, let's check. Yeah. So I can send the data to UI like this. And the way it works. But it, it didn't show up here. Maybe you zoom in. Uh -huh. Do it again. Yeah. Uh, down here. Yeah, because it's on. Uh, it's forcefully yeah. set to the. Uh, this is a bit annoying here. So if you do it again, we should see it show up here, down here. You see. Nice uh, reflections. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's. Uh, I'm just saying. You saying uh, like a. Uh, JavaScript, uh, JSON, from snippet. JSON snippet from VVV and all the clients receive it. And JavaScript knows, okay, I got a JSON, JSON, so I have to do something. Let's show some uh, toast. That's how they called it. Toast. Toast. This is toast notification. Learn something today. Okay. Um, probably. I guess because it so jumps. Like a toast. Like a toast. Um, shall we? Wrap it. Yeah. If you have any question on this topic, please let us know in the comments. Uh, we'll be back with another episode at some point. Um, have a good day. Thanks, operator. Talk later.